All right, this is my little uh, final version of my high voltage tester. This is the uh, voltage control knob, uh, just a regular old 12 volt uh, wall wart, DC wall wart. Plugs into the jack. This has a hot terminal right here. That's dangerous, that's why it's red. And this is the ground terminal. Now the ground is positive and the hot terminal is negative. But I made this red so people wouldn't get confused and uh, think that this was the ground and this was the hot, because it isn't. So this has a little uh, LED light bulb here that took a little bit of finagling to figure out how to make that work without blowing the LED out uh, because it's in series with the high voltage. And this is a high voltage meter and it reads about two and a half thousand volts for every picket, every major picket here. So two and a half kV, five kV, seven and a half kV, 10 kV, 12 and a half kV, 15 kV uh, for the full scale. I think I did that right. And so um, it can be changed though by changing some resistors inside. You can get different range on this. But this is suitable for the uh, high voltage module that's inside this one. So if I turn this up, what happens here? That's 5,000 volts, 7,500 volts, 10,000 volts. Eh, that's 12,500 volts. That's probably enough. See, there's no arcs. The light doesn't light. I'll go back up again. The light doesn't light. I didn't turn it all the way up because it folds back if you go too high. Um, so let me hook something up to this. So this is like being in a magical movie. All of a sudden something just appears. And I get some of these tubes out of the way here. So this is a 811 tube I just grabbed out of a box. It's a used 811 tube. And I'm going to, I have the uh, filament pin plugged into the negative jack and the positive run around to the anode cap. This is all real dangerous, you know, because there'll be like, I don't know, 15,000 volts on this lead. So I'll crank this baby up. It's going up, up. I should probably shut this light off. There we go. See the see the light starting to light. So this tube is starting to show leakage at about uh, 5,200 5, volts or so, somewhere in there. And uh, I can, of course, there you go. So this thing will this thing will knock you on your behind. So this is a little bit of a leaky tube. This tube is probably run all right. It'll handle 5,000 volts, but but some of them uh, will high pot up, uh, you know, to several thousand volts. Um, you know, 8 kV, 10 kV, somewhere in there if it's a real good tube. Hang on a minute. All right, I slid the pin out a little bit. I had to turn this off. I didn't want to grab it while it was hot. And I'm going to run the voltage up. So you can see how the little LED lights. This thing works. Um, this thing works good for checking all kinds of stuff at high voltage. And here's a uh, a piece of coax magically appeared. I have the. Uh, this is actually the negative, the positive lead. So I have the uh, positive lead hooked here to the shield by clipping it on a shell, 
and I just poked the center conductor of the UHF connector. This is some old cable I found underneath the bench. So we'll run the voltage up and see how the cable is. There's two and a half thousand volts from center pin to uh, shield. There it arced. So around, around two and a half kV it breaks down. Um, so it's okay if you put a connector on correctly, if you do it right, a, um, a UHF connector, a good UHF connector, even on a small cable like this, if you make the connector perfect, it'll hold off over 5,000 volts. But this one's okay. If it had, if it had broken down at, you know, 1,000 volts or 1,500 volts, I would really seriously worry about it and take it back apart. But it's probably going to be okay. That's how this little gizmo works.